Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 3 of Old World as Persia on the Noble difficulty. And I'm actually recording this video almost directly after the last one. So uh, at the time of recording this, I haven't seen any comments on the second video. So if you've watched video 2 and you've left comments, I won't have seen them at this stage. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm just trying to fit my recording schedule around various job interviews and things at the moment. Uh, which does remind me because I don't do it nearly often enough. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of my uh, patrons who have been offering me some additional support. It really, really is appreciated. I can't thank you guys enough. If you're interested in supporting myself and the channel, uh, there is a Patreon link in the video description and also in the end slate at the end of the video. So in the last video, I actually got a little bit cheeky and managed to snipe this city spot over here. Um... Carthage were fighting against the Barbarians, and I just managed to sneak my scout in there and grab that site. So hopefully I can take that from them. That's probably going to be the one that I take next. Uh, obviously, I've got a, a settler coming out ready for this one, uh, but I'll have a settler for that one. And then I need to start working my way south. And I haven't even started looking up north yet, so there's a lot of stuff going on that I, I need to be careful. Um, I need to sort of really consider what I'm doing because I don't want to be losing units. So our sun and air is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. So that might be worth doing. An entourage of grim ambassadors arrive from Babylonia and bring us a message from their ruler. She demands that we declare on the Danes. Well, I don't really want to declare war on the Danes. I mean, I do, but not yet. It'd be a stupid idea right now with only a handful of military units. So unfortunately, we're going to have to take some negative rep with Babylonia. So this is our son and heir. I think I would like to go for wisdom. In this game, we, we seem to be doing pretty well on civics and training. So it makes more sense, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to focus on science a little bit there. Uh, now that we are on a fresh turn, we're going to get... Um, the swordsman is not the one that's selected. There we go. Uh, you need to get over there and you're going to heal up. You're going to sit on the city site. Could give you another promotion, but I think I'll save the points there for now. Uh, we do have the swordsman here. Now, the swordsman has a general, but no promotion. So, I could move the swordsman over to here and then promote. Uh, steadfast. See, I'm, I'm never sure whether or not steadfast counts against barbarians, because it specifically says tribal units. Well, let me click on that either. Um, so I don't know whether or not um, that counts, honestly. But let's try it out anyway. Um, because we will be going to war with the Danes sooner or later. So it makes sense. Uh, that just leaves us with three orders left. There's not a lot of stuff going on. You are just going to sit there until we get that settler. Now, I'm, I was using you to scout out and around a bit, which I can continue to do, I think. Another Dane camp. Yeah, lots of Dane camps around. There's some iron there we can probably grab. So we've got one, two, three, four. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Five Dane camps that I... Six Dane camps that I can see. So, potentially we have got some room to expand here. They are on the other side of this, this mountain range, which might make life a little bit difficult, but not too bad, hopefully. So, yeah, I can do no more with you this turn. Let's go ahead and end the year. And, yeah, I do intend to keep promoting some units up. Right, we've got a barbarian unit moving towards us. Game is recommending Spoked Wheel... Um, not sure why. I mean, it's quite high up the tech tree. 17 years to get that. We'd probably be better off getting... Well, let's be honest. Do we need the barracks yet? Or would we be better off with shrines? I think the shrines could give us some nicer things. Especially as there are some shrines here that can give us extra orders. Let's go for divination for now. Where is that barbarian? Right, you need to heal up anyway. That barbarian unit that moved closer towards us is this one here. So I've actually got this ranged unit coming in as well. 
we can probably right this this city here needs to work on a settler because we need to be able to go and settle this as soon as possible it was my plan to move these units over there and deal with that but as the barbarians down here seem to be moving in it might be better for me to just deal with the barbarians i can go down here and deal with these barbarians We do have a unit here. Can't really give you a promotion if I do this. There's a lot of units there. So I'm actually going to back up and say, if you want to come at me, come at me. Uh, I can give you another promotion. Do we want to give them strike or guard? Probably guard at the moment. And then this unit I'm going to move next to you. And I'm also... Could we add another general in? Is there somebody here that could help? Counterattacks during melee. Not that useful here. If I put myself in, can heal in neutral territory. Extra movement, extra attack, extra defense. Um, you do an extra 25% versus tribal units. Again... Do barbarians count as tribal units? I don't know. Uh, should it does it not tell me? Yeah, because I do plus 10. Right, if I undo that. If I undone that promotion, yeah. So I would do plus 7 against the barbarian. And then if I give... Oh, the option has changed now. Oh, no, because it wasn't a promotion. It was a general that I put in. But that's plus 11%. But that's not enough, is it? If I was to promote you and give you steadfast... Yeah, so it does apparently count. The promotion or the general, which one's better? I'm thinking the general is the better option right now. So yeah, I'm going to put you in. And we'll allow them to come a little bit closer. Uh, the shoemaker, not permitted to enter the prominent city courts. The prince and his friends spend their days in the surrounding market with an erudite shoemaker and his group of merchant philosophers learning the skills of philosophy and debate. Uh, not all education is found in the classroom. We can become witty, humble, righteous or bold. Or we can scold him for abandoning his studies and we'd both gain one discipline. I mean, getting, getting one of those things that can be useful... How much do the, the gold now would be nice though? An extra 32 gold per turn that's a significant, that's like a 50% boost. So I think we will be taking that. So you're going to stay here. This settler's not coming out for four turns, which is a shame, but we can't really rush it. I think I can safely grab that with the settler and just leave the because we're not at war with Carthage. Carthage have got a lot of units around here, which means there probably aren't any other barbarian camps. Another Dane camp up here, actually. So there's plenty of places that we can take, and I need to get units out. And we need to go and deal with these barbarians, but I'm going to try and let them come to me right now. We are going to be fighting on two fronts, so I do want to try and keep as many units alive as possible. Uh, you are going to... Well, you could stay there, or I could promote you. Again, we do have a lot of points here. Extra damage versus ranged units. Now, these are ranged, aren't they? These are uh, marauders. No, marauders aren't the ranged ones. You're the ranged ones, the skirmishers. But they do tend to have a lot of ranged ones. So which would be the best promotion for you? Extra versus the ranged units is nice. Let's give you sh shield bearer. And then, yep, yeah, we've got you. Now known as Cirrus the Explorer. We can harvest that ore. We've still got some movement left. Ah, great, another one of these. Your explorers send back word from the ruins of a beautiful palace ravaged by time. Beneath the throne is a stone inscribed with an ancient form of Persian. The regal inscription tells of a lost kingdom and the attempts of the king to fulfill his ambitions. The families are uh, enraptured by this work of art and hope that you will strive to complete the ambition that the previous nation could not. So, six urban improvements. Clee, 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 clear three tribal sites. Again, does that count as barbarian sites? 
or control two Elder Acolytes. Probably not going to get two Elder Acolytes anytime soon. So it's one of these two. Uh, which of the families hates me the most? Actually, they all they all have a good opinion on me right now. Um, the Sansonids really, really like me. And so do the... Um, uh, our, 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 those guys, they, they like me as well. Um, you guys don't like me much. So six urban improvements, we can probably do that. As long as we don't die too early and I get some more workers out. So let's see how that works. Got some salt over there we can grab as well. This is the bottom of the map. So that's good. So we're probably safe down in this bottom bottom corner. Obviously, we don't want the other AI sort of nipping through and grabbing this stuff. So we do want to try and close it off to them if possible. So maybe what we want to do after grabbing this one is coming south and maybe grabbing that from the Danes and this from the Danes. But I'd, I'd like to get all those barbarian camps cleared before I start going to war with the uh, with the tribes. So a new game has become popular in Parsa. The game is known as Nardashir, or Nard for short. Each player has multiple ivory pieces. Basically, it's chess. Um, so we can get f uh, all opinion from the families for 20 years, or we can get 60 culture in Parser and minus 60 unrest. Yet yeah, we're going to take the culture because we're really behind, and that's actually now put us on to developing. So what we could do now is we could spend some of our civics and hurry the worker, which is probably not a bad idea. So we're going to go ahead and hurry the worker. Yes, it does give us some discontent, but we had some of that anyway. So what do we want to do then? Do we want to get another military unit? We're probably going to need one, so let's get a warrior. Uh, I do have some orders left. We can send someone on a mission. We can do like a religious mission, possibly. What can we do with you? Can we convert somebody to our religion? I want to try and convert as many people to our religion as possible. Yeah, let's go start trying to convert people. Okay, that's all my orders used up. End the year. Hopefully we don't have too many problems with the barbarians. Scattered independence. Word has reached your ear of a small settlement of independent folk living on the periphery of your realm. As they are not affili affiliated with any major tribe or nation, it should be easy enough to get them to join your expanding kingdom. By all means, let us negotiate with them and bring them into the fold. We gain two citizens. Uh, we have enough people already, but let us hire the cream of the crop to serve in our military, a new court soldier. Or, I'm not really interested in bringing in large numbers of people, but we'll selectively absorb their most talented into the court. We don't have a great amount of food right now, and I'm not really popping out specialists, so maybe we don't need the extra citizens. The court soldier could be useful for fighting. So we've got this guy, plus two wisdom, plus four courage, plus two discipline. That is actually quite nice. And he counterattacks during melee, so he'll be good for our new swordsman that we're going to get. Uh, let's go ahead and we, we've got plenty of stone coming at the moment, but I think while we're next to this and we can grab a quarry, let's go and do that. Um, we've got our military units. Again, you are staying there. You're going to get fully, fully healed. Uh, this unit doesn't appear to be moving towards me. We could go ahead and give you a promotion, which I think is worth doing. Um, so... We already have Steadfast from our General, so they don't stack, apparently. So, I guess we're just going to give you combat. Uh, unfortunately, we can't rush the Settler here, because we don't have the culture that we need. I mean, I could go down here and attack. If I attack you from here... So, you only do one hit point less from a distance. Oh, you've already moved this turn. That's fine. How much damage could you do to me? Only two hit points. I'd sooner go down when both units are ready, so we'll leave that until the next turn. You might be able to grab the marble. Oh, that isn't... See, marble and salt, I'm sure they both use the same graphic. Because they always look... Oh, there's barbarians. Let's back up a little bit there. Let's not do that. Um, and let's go over here and we'll try and uncover some more of this Dane camp. So I've still got quite a few orders left. So I am tempted to go down here and, and hit this. They'll probably move in with these ranged units. But we can always back up and we can do a significant chunk of damage there. I don't think these units can do that much damage to me. 
yeah, the amount of damage that these guys can do with the general and the two promotions is actually pretty low. So I think I'm confident wading in there. I hope. Hope that's the right decision. You've got to stay there until the settler comes. I can't do too much about that settler right now. I could potentially move over with the swordsman and try and help, but I'd have to go all the way around the mountains, so it's probably not really worth it right now. Uh, we do have... Right, we can two to the prince. So let's go and do that. Who do we want to try and... Yeah, we want to try and improve his wisdom, so let's go for that option. We've only got one order left. Can't really do anything with a single order. So, well, I could promote you. I mean, 400 is a lot. 400 is a lot. No, I'm not I'm not going to promote you up now. That's that's a little bit too much. Yeah, so some of these units are moving in a little bit closer, which I kind of expected was going to happen. So that's not a big surprise there. We're also fighting over the river here as well. Uh, the Queen Consort has successfully converted the Oligarch to her religion, so he's now uh, Zoroastrianism. That is great. Am I fighting across the river? Yeah, but there's not too much I can do about that. Um, yeah, if I move you in here... Yeah, I don't think that these guys can do enough damage to take me out, so... Yeah, let's just have them come at us. We, we can do a pretty decent amount of damage to them. Maybe I'm stronger than I think I am because um, I'm playing on a lower difficulty. I know I, on the last couple of games I had terrible issues trying to take barbarians out. Uh, we can give you another promotion. Let's give you combat too. That's a good one to have. Uh, so we can... We've already looted that one, haven't we? Yeah, it's, I, I dislike how the the little it's already looted icon doesn't appear uh, oh we've got some uh, gems here we can grab those and we've got some whatever that is or we can grab that excellent another day yeah, lots of dane camps if i can get down here but i really need to try and grab these again i don't really want to go for the danes first some of these dane camps might have already gone but yeah there's a lot of danes around so i've got to be careful here I can't... I, I must get rid of the Barbarians first. There's no way I could fight the Barbarians and the Danes at the same time. Uh, the Persian king is expected to learn of the esoteric arts of the sages whose traditional knowledge has been passed down for generations. This magic and exorcism is part of the normal life and could help the Tyridates greatly. What shall be the focus of his training? Healing through magic and herbs. He can become a herbalist. As a general, extra 4 HP from the heal action. As a leader, all units gain plus 2 HP from a heal action. Or interpret signs and omens. Makes him pious, gives him strength and charisma. Or we can focus on his studies. I'd, I'd prefer the wisdom, to be honest. Right, these guys have moved in a little closer. 14 damage if we hit them from here. Um, you can do 8 from there or 10 if you move over. You might as well just stay at the back then. So that is that unit killed. Uh, our wife is the general... We can give her fierce extra damage versus infant uh, as a general plus 10 damage and defense versus infantry units. Yeah, let's go for that. And that's completed. Is that completed the ambition? No. Uh, I, again, I don't think these two can take her out, so should be fine. Still waiting on this guy. Can't rush him yet. Don't have the um, the chops to do it. I could rush the warrior, but I don't think that's necessary. Where are you going with that settler? Although there isn't really an empty city site that you can settle, so I shouldn't really worry. The only city sites that are cleared are ones that I'm camping on, so we should be okay. Can't really do anything else with you there, so why is it saying that I can? Uh, and I guess we just carry on. Oh, wow, we've got gold. That we are, okay, we definitely need to get this city site down here. There's another Dane camp. Yeah, these these Dane camps here, these definitely need to be ours. And these, these barbarian camps. We need to grab as much of this corner as the map as possible. But I need to wipe out this barbarian camp and this barbarian camp first. I think they're the only two barbarian camps remaining, unless there's another one down here in the fog. So it shouldn't be too difficult... Doesn't mean we are going to have to get another settler pretty quick as well. 
I've got five orders left. We could try and get um, somebody else's religion converted again. So, who... Let's just get as many people going as possible. We're also going to need some more workers, because we don't have many. Uh, you're the head of the Sassanid family. What can we do with you? Get somebody to like us a little bit more. Our own son doesn't like us all that much. Let's go and uh, try that. Okay. So that's pretty much all I can do because we're out of orders again. I could do something with you. I don't really want to spend 300 training promoting you. Am I likely to get attacked from this direction? And could I handle it with this slinger? Probably. So do I want to try and move this warrior down and maybe start trying to pick on some of these um, barbarians from this side? Possibly. So do I want to add a general? Mm, almost certainly. I mean, I'd probably be the best person to go in as the general, but I don't want to end up getting killed. Counterattacks during melee and plus 25% attack and defense from trees. There's not a lot of trees down there, but counterattacking from melee is useful. So um, we'll do that on the next turn. I know you can move and then do it, but I was out of orders anyway, so pretty pointless. Okay. Um, our wife is now drunk. That's not good. So it does actually give give her a little bit of extra defense on her unit, but also a, she loses a bit of attack power. That's annoying. Um... Your wife has been throwing herself into her duties as the head of Zoroastrianism. Every day she's meeting with the Magi and organizing the movements of the faith. So this is... So our wife comes to us asking for help. The Arasid family are complaining that she has been slacking from her royal duties, but she is determined not to relinquish the role of the religious leader. We will hire, hire staff to aid her royal duties. Um, which she should devote herself to Zoroastrianism. So we would lose one discipline... Zoroastrium gains opinion, and the unit she's commanding would gain quite a big boost. Yeah, we can afford to lose the 32 gold here, so that's good. Uh, the warriors led by General, whatever his face is, have proved themselves loyal and fierce fighters, even though they haven't actually done anything since he joined them. Um, he asks that we recognise the unit and grant them the honour of being named the Immortals to serve for your dynasty for all time. No such will distract from the training. We know the immortals healer plus one HP per year. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have Unsettler. So let's get you over here. Which tile do we want? I think the ones furthest to the south are probably better because having ones closer to the um, mountains are going to make better mines for us. It still gives us all of the other useful tiles. So we're going to come down here. I am going to force march them. Because we want to set this up now. Which do we want here? We have got horses. So we could go for the um, riders to get the saddleborn. Because we can get some mounted units. Or we could go for the Statesman to get the extra order. And this one will be connected to the capital. I think this one's going to be the Riders. Because we're going to have horses here. So we don't have to worry too much about these units. However, before we do anything else, we need to sort these units out here. So you can do 11 hit points of damage to this unit, apparently. I'm going to move to the south a little bit. Because I want to try and avoid getting hit by that too much. Although we probably will. Couldn't quite take this unit out, but I don't think they can take me out. I'm not bothered by that. So this settler is going to go over there. We do need another settler, which we might get at Parser, and we might make this one a worker. Now, you've all so finished, but there are more cities down here to grab. So maybe you can work on... Actually, let's get a worker first. Let's get a worker first. 
because we've got lots of cities here that, that don't really have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this worker has now finished what they were working on. We've only got two orders left. Now, the game is suggesting another quarry over here. Not a bad idea, but iron is our problem right now. And we need to get up onto a hill if we want to do that. I'm going to move on to this tile. And I'm going to cut the trees here. And I'll clear these trees on the next turn. And we'll make this into a, into a mine. Because it'll have adjacency bonus. I could spend some of the training... Uh, for the extra orders to do that. But it's probably not worth rushing it right now. We're not in a deficit on iron. I can't move any of these other units around, which is fine. This is our new city. Now, I think you should also get a worker as well. We are going to need more military units, but I think that is fine. And I'm going to end the video there, because I think that is a good place to stop. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the progress there. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, please do consider leaving a like on the video. And as always, uh, please um, do leave your comments, uh, your tips, your suggestions, your critiques, bits I've missed, anything that generally helps me out because it is all appreciated. I will see you guys on the next video. So until then, goodbye for now.